before I teach you how to remove the uh, LCD backlight or bulb, I will show you first the uh, symptom of a defective bulb. If you see on the video, there's a pinkish or reddish color somewhere in the lower portion of the screen. This indicates that the light bulb is uh, almost nearing its lifespan or it needs to be replaced. So I'm going to use this is the cross lot screwdriver. This is a precision type. I'm also using a, my favorite flat rounded edge spatula. Uh, you can also use a striver. This is optional. Um, the other important stuff is the knife. Get to the table or close to you. Then, have to remove the Remove all the adhesive tape. Also remove this aluminum tape to take this out too. Some other screws here too. Have to take that out. Make sure that you put back the screws to where they are located. I mean to the original position. here is to remove the frames here take this out some they still have like uh, tapes here also have to remove them We need to remove the metal bracing. This one I was not able to remove. The aluminum tag was not able to remove properly. So, okay. before I forget, make sure that uh, you have to work on a very clean surface because if you open this, there are um, 
different layers inside the LCD so you don't want uh, anything to come in otherwise it's going to be reflected on the LCD screen so the cleaner the surface the better for you to work so okay there's some other screws here I'll to remove them as well This part here, I think it still has a tape. Also, I'm back. I was able to remove the tape. I'm going to remove this bracing as well. Just be careful because this, some metal brackets are still attached to that lower portion. You don't want to yank it. Otherwise, it's, it's going to break the, that portion. So, just be extra careful there's another tape that I wasn't able to remove earlier was able to take that out. My objective is to remove the broken piece here, this portion. Take note, when I'm working on an LCD screen, I, everything is always face down, so I don't have to flip it back and forth. Just put it face down, and then This part here have to make clearance so that you can just just be careful. I'm using my uh, my fingers, my fingernails. Take this part here. Okay. Just be very extra careful about it. point you can also loosen this part here okay. these are the two wires that connects to the both ends of the bulb okay okay So this is the bulb here. 